Islam is the only monotheistic religion. Mm -hmm. So there's no discussion or thought process with any other op option. But now the Christian says, look, but who's dying for your sins now? Who's paying the price for your sins? What do you say? Man, how can you think someone else is going to be burdened with the sins I created? And how unfair is that? It just doesn't make any sense. And then when you think about it, if Jesus really died for all of our sins, then, then we can go with why be good at all, right? I mean, because he already died. So then there's no reason to be good people at all. There's no trinity. It never makes sense. Three never makes one. Yeah. It just doesn't work. How did you feel after you took your shahada? <laughs> it, it, it was awesome. It was, uh, I got to tell you, it, was, it, it really is. And then, like I said, I was already halfway through the Quran. So, honestly, your life becomes easier. You, you tell me what the rules are. And now I know exactly what I'm going to do and what I'm not going to do. If I don't know the rules, then how, how fair is life? That, that's nothing but stress. I mean, it's like when the police change the speed limit all of a sudden and you get caught. Well, it's, it's not really fair because you didn't know it changed. Yeah, it um, the Quran is, is, even in the English translation, is, is, was so clear. This is exactly how we do things. This is right. This is wrong. These are the rewards. These are the punishments. Uh, there's an I, uh, 15 and 16. If you read the 96th surah and you read through to 15 and 16, Allah talks about how he's going to pull or how our souls are going to be pulled out through the English translation I said, I have says through our forelocks, right? Through our foreheads, through, they're going to be ripped out. For a believer, it's just a little perspiration. Perspiration. With my functional neurology, where, what area now do you think science should support religion and your religion should support your science they're, they're, if they're right? Where do you think you make that final decision whether you dis do something or you inhibit that bad action. That's the forehead. That's the frontal lobes. That's the forelock. That's the brain. There's no way we knew that 1,500 years ago. I mean, remember, just a few hundred years ago, people thought women didn't have a brain. They thought, you know, the Christians didn't think women had a soul forever, right? I mean, here's the Quran 1,500 years ago or so telling us that this is where you're going to be punished from or pulled out through when you're a bad guy. And that's, that's your final inhibition, that's your final initiation of the good or bad you decide to do. It's the forehead, it's the forelock. So it's really science, religion, it all agrees for me. Islam is the...